So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We are back with eFootball. Uh, we're going to dive right into it in a second. But before we do that, just let me say this, and I want you guys to leave a comment. What do you prefer watching on my channel? Just so I get an idea, like, do you like watching the career modes, the master leagues? Do you prefer a bit of eFootball online action? I'm just interested what the majority like. Uh, the good news is today on Saturday when this video comes out, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play a ton of FIFA 23 career mode. So next week, that is officially back. But last weekend, I had to do wedding venues and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, just let me know real quick in the comments, what do you like to watch? You know, because there is a variety. I try and put out what I can. I don't really have a set game that I play 100%. That's kind of why this channel is, you know, career mode sometimes, Master League, eFootball. We don't have an eFootball Master League right now, folks. So, you know, I'm just trying to survive with putting out what I can. Okay, sounds good. All right, today's video, we're playing on manual. I'm going to let this run in the background for you guys, okay? And, uh, yeah, so let me kind of move the screen down a little bit here. So, yes, this dude we're taking on right here. Now, he was a he was a Division 5 player, by the way, okay? I was in Division 6 or 7 at this point. I think I was in Division 7. But there are a few stipulations, should I say, that I had to make sure were going to happen for me to actually do this with manual. So this is the guy's team. As you can see, it's pretty damn good. He's got play style of 100, right? He's got Robertson at the back, Guardiola, Bastoni, Alexander-Arnold, All Blacks in goal. He's got Scolzi and Robson in the middle. I would have loved to get Ryan Robson, Brian Robson, but unfortunately, I never got him. David Beckham, likewise, would have loved to whack him in my Man United Classics team. Uh, Taglafico, Ronaldo, and Vlahovic, right? So that's his team. He's 27-19 on the collective strength. So this is my team. And we're 26-47 on the strength. Now, the one thing that, that has to be done if you're going to attempt to play on manual is put every single player in your lineup who's on A form. That's what I did. I literally went through. Now, they're not all guaranteed to be on A form. As you can see, Beckenbauer uh, is not, and neither is Luke Shaw. And that was the, the annoyance. But I was trying to get every player who would be on A form or at least B form to start if you're going to play on manual you have to have the most responsive gameplay you can get you just have to because you're you're not playing on assisted if it's not very very responsive and the connection's not great good luck with that you're gonna pull your hair out so so that's the first thing right find the players that are on form i put dennis sermon on the left uh back position for this and beckham bar on the right um, and then I put Badea Schiel, or whatever your name is, uh, as centre-back. So it's not the best centre-back partnership, but the form's there. Put Casemiro in there as well as a holding player. Uh, and then we're off and running. Second thing, obviously, is the connection. Now, I'm in the US of A, right? I never, ever get a five-bar connection. It doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure I play a lot of South Americans, you know, below me in Florida. So that's what happens. So... A three bar is very, very uh, popular for me, but I don't go for him. Only a four bar connection is what you should be playing on on manual. And then you might have the best way to go. As you can tell, already lost the ball there. So how you'll know I'm playing on manual, by the way, if you don't know, is the yellow bar uh, underneath the player, right? The other guy we're facing has got the, um, the green bar. So that's just regular assistance i don't know what assistance he's on he could be on one two three probably two or one seems to be the popular one uh, and this is watch this you know sometimes you need a little bit of luck and that's exactly what that was uh credit to the guy he actually let me watch the replay but what happened here was his own player got in the way of hob <laughs> So I had an absolute dream start, but there was a long way to go. You still got 86 minutes to try and hold on here. So ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, that's how you tell we're playing on manual, etc. Uh, but honestly, the connection for every match I played. So like I said, I played five or six games. Every connection felt all right. A four bar to me is doable. A three bar, I'm not doing. A two bar, you're having a laugh. So that's my biggest thing I would say. If you are going to play on manual, those two things have to happen. You've got to have the players on form. And you've got to have a solid connection. And then you might be able to play some football. 
anyway, let's now talk about the gameplay. So this guy was reasonable, I will say. You know, Division 5. And he did have some chances. So this is what... We, that was nice. And that's where I was like, okay, this guy does know what he's doing. To go for the old nutmeg through the old pie hole. And he did this a few times. I did let him see the replay. I was like, all right, we're going to respect this guy. But that... That was nice. And unfortunately... Beckenbauer is a, a very solid player when it comes to positioning himself. Now, that's what you've got to remember, folks. When you are defending, just try and block things in this game. Honestly, I'm actually really enjoying playing eFootball gameplay-wise. I think my defending has improved so much because I've just... I've learned to not dive in because it's pointless. It doesn't work. I mean, it can work at times, but generally, you're just trying to block. You want to block, you want to block. This guy was very adamant about using the flanks as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be an interesting half. I'll let you guys watch it out and we kind of analyze it and critique it as well. But now I'm just going to try and knock this about and ultimately keep possession. That's that's the game plan here. If I lose possession, then obviously I've got to try and get it again. That was a lovely switch pass. Always look for the switch as well. That's why you want to have the radar on. I mean, I personally like to have the radar on for that fact. This camera angle too, I will say... For me, the best camera angle you can play uh, on manual. Dynamic wide custom. Now watch this, see? Just time that right, because if I didn't, obviously he's going to be in there. And he's just trying to work it. He really we should have scored that. I thought I was going to concede. I, the heavens were smiling on us there. I'll tell you that much, because that was a free header. And he probably should have put it in the back end of the net. And that is the annoyance of not having the assistance there. Sometimes you are going to play those... Uh, overplaced passes uh, but yeah now we're on the defensive right we are tr we are defending a lot here and i'm not going to dive in i'm going to be using matchup l2 a lot uh, and I, I i change my controls i actually use r1 as press and i will say the one thing i use relentlessly constantly in this game is super cancel i have always had that in my brain it doesn't matter if i'm playing Pez, I mean, look at that. That was a very, something like that. Just to watch again. Watch here, ready? He thinks, look how many players he has coming up to me, right? He's decided to teammate press with this dude, and then he's controlling Brian Robson. And I was like, I could pass this back, because he thinks I am. But instead, a quick Cruyff, and see you later. Four players literally gone out of the equation. Uh, and then I tried to switch it. Poor pass to Nisselroy. Uh, and, you know, we lost the thing. But, you know, it's all about just, once again, thinking smartly. Take your time. Don't rush it. Uh, and don't panic. There you go. L2, straighten with the challenge. Uh, there is going to be an example at one point where if you don't press tackle or L2 or match up or something. And oh, this was unlucky. Have a look at this. Nissel Roy, I thought he was going to get there, but just couldn't get the luck of the draw there. Uh, but, yeah, if you don't press tackle at the right time, the players will just run past the ball. That's why in eFootball, it's kind of a mixed bag of sometimes it's assisted defending and sometimes it's very, very manual. The amount of crosses this guy did in this game, he had one game plan and it was to get it wide and try and whip that ball in. So with 32 minutes in, he's still pressing me here. Once again, now I'm trying to get the players to come across. We did have Peter Schmeichel in goal. It's a big, big day, isn't it? It's not easy to beat. Uh, but yeah, just trying to defend and defend and defend uh, and not wet myself uh, was the hardest part. So he's obviously got Beckham. Not a great delivery by him, to be honest. I mean, if you're going to have it with Beckham, just whip it in back stick, son. So he picked up with Nistelroy. He's not the quickest Nistelroy. Uh, he hasn't got the pace. And honestly, I did pick up Didier Drogba as well um, yesterday. And uh, he wasn't on form. He was only on C form. Once again, he's offside this time. He's not great, to be honest. I, I mean, I bet, I, I'm probably not playing him the way you should probably play them. I mean, Drogba is a very physical player, and that's kind of what I worked on his stats, is just go for physicality, because he hasn't got the pace. But Nisroy hasn't got the pace, but he's got good finishing. So, you know, you pick one or the other. Anyway, we've got 10 minutes now till the break, so we're going to do a lovely switch pass. Lovely ball there to find the Neymars, and then you go... See you later. Now, this is where I do need to improve my game because I start trying to just walk this in instead of just... I should have kept going with Neymar. He's got the tricks. He's got the moves. Just take him on, son. Yeah, but we lost possession, and now he's looking for that. Look at that for a pass. It was a lovely ball, and... 
That's where, in the blink of an eye, I was just trying to hold on here. Now with Beckham bounce again, just get players in the way. Try and block the crosses, block the shots, do whatever you can. Sometimes the game, that's fine, we'll let him have a shot from there. Sometimes you have no control of it, folks. Like the game before this, I lost 2-0. Both of his goals, absolute tripe. I mean, they were fine. My goal wasn't the best in this. I got a little bit fortunate. But his were just your typical AI wouldn't react to the ball and we're all over the place. And that's and that's what happened. So, anywho, the game is the game. Just, just play it and try not to get annoyed. Honestly, if you start getting frustrated with playing this game, just go to bed or turn it off. One or the other. Anyway, a few more minutes now till half time. He lost the ball there in a really dangerous position and that pass to Nisaroy just didn't have enough pace on it. But yeah, we, we got a little bit fortunate. This was a chance here right at the end and I rushed it. I didn't need to do it. Uh, honestly, if you have a look at that again, right here, you can see at the bottom of your screen, I think that's Rashi is calling for it. A little dink ball over the top there maybe would have been in, but I decided to shoot and it was pants so that was half time and as you can see from the stats we got a little bit lucky uh he's had six attempts but he's only had two on target and i want you to take note of how many shots on target he has in this game so second half what are we gonna do i mean nisaroy's meant to be on full blue form didn't really feel like he was on the best form to be honest and that's why I play that. That's why always four marrows in this game. If you've never played Pez before, and this is the first time you're playing eFootball, four arrows are a must. Always have them like that or like that. Don't want it like that or that. It's a shocker. I mean, if they're on neutral form, you can get away with it. But ideally, no, that four marrow has to be looking very shik shik because it's just the way to go. So we decided to mix it up here and actually play a 4-3-3 this second half uh, and we'll have Rodri and Casimiro in the middle you know I know they're both kind of anchorman players but I didn't really care I needed some sort of stability in front of my back line because we were getting overrun that half a little bit so we start off the second half uh, he's brought on uh, Lewandowski for Cristiano Ronaldo so yeah we're just going to try and hold the shape here and that's the key once again hold the shape of the team and when you get the right time to make a challenge, make one. You know, he wants to keep using these crosses. But to be fair, Kim, the Kim guy I have on my team is pretty good in the air. I wasn't really concerned with him continually whipping balls in willy-nilly. I mean, he's got Lewandowski in the middle, sure. And he's got Beckham, who's obviously got pinpoint crossing. Uh, and he'll, he'll cause you some problems. Once again, he tried it. But I'll let him have pop shots from there. Honestly, you've got more chance of scoring a long ranger on manual than you have of scoring a long ranger playing on assisted because there's only certain ways you can score on assisted. I mean, you can go middle, left, or right. And the game kind of dictates where it's going for you. So another corner, a little bit better delivery from him. Beckenbauer gets it away, comes back to Frankie. Beckham once again, going to whip that ball in once more, but Dennis Irwin was there and he went for a specialty and uh, no, that was never, ever going to trouble us. Look, Thomas Muller, the ref, please, Konami, just for me, can you change the referee's skins? Like, just give him a, a, a different face or something. Change his hair. Give him a beard. Mix it up. All right. So, yeah, we didn't start this half off well. He came out fighting. Once again, he's defending, 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 trying to get across. There it is. Get that block in. Now Bruno Fernandes can bring this forward. And my, my team just felt like, you know, when you start a half and your team just doesn't feel like they're awake. That's exactly how mine felt. Bruno's meant to be on full blue form. He didn't feel like it. Uh, but there will be moments where he'll feel good and then the game will feel like pants again. So he switches the play. Taglafico up the line. Lewandowski. So again, getting that block in. Here comes uh, Badaya Shil. I went for that long ball. But at this time, honestly, at this stage of the game, I'm just trying to just, just get through it. Uh, I know at some point I might have a little bit of possession and I'm going to have chances like right now. Look what he did. Messed up. Neymar took me time and then just shoot the ball, Ricky. Just shoot the ball. And it's those little things I've got to work on. Those can be very, very costly in matches like this. So Dennis Sermon wins the header. Looking for the Neymars. Then uh, Irwin once again and lost possession. The player switching was being a little bit antsy at times. Annoying me. It knows it wants to get on my nerves. 
So, Alexander-Arnold, Beckham, Lampard. You're going to look for that switch, which he's been doing a lot this game. Um, but here's Casimiro coming across. Now we've got to make decisions. And once again, smiling on me because he should have scored that. But he held the power bar down way, way too much. So now I need a bit of possession. I've got to calm myself uh, with uh, still 24 minutes left to play here. I, but I actually really enjoy playing manual. I, when the connection's good and I have control of my players for the most part, I'm not going to complain about it. You know, I'm just going to try and play it. Lost possession there, but I'm not going to go chasing. We're going to sit back. We'll let Nisaroy do the running and the forwards do the running. And Casemiro once again. Here comes Neymar. Lovely play by him. Not losing possession. Beckham. Trying to get it through the uh, the legs of Casemiro, but still manages to find Lampard. Nice little ball over the top. And this is where Beckenbauer does what he does best. Comes across. Gets a foot into it. And every time he's trying to line up those, bang, close him down. Win it. Right, Bruno Fernandes. He thinks I'm going to go that way. Nope, not going to happen. We'll keep going. Nisseroy. Wrong move again. Really, uh, Nisseroy not great today. Really quite disappointed with him. He just felt so sluggish. Right, it was Rodri. Look at that lovely little scoop ball. Now we got a chance to flick it up the line. Bruno Fernandes. Here we go. Nisseroy, have a look at that for a pass. But that's still the ability that we have. It's, it's like the real Man United. We're looking for those counters. And uh, it, was a, it was a nicely worked move. But yeah, if we managed to get that second goal, it would have been tasty, wouldn't it? Settled the nerve. So we made a few changes here. Um, Rashford was coming off for Cava. I've got Cava in there, if you guys know him from the Napoli playthrough. Uh, and I took Neymar off as well. I bought Andi Maria. Uh, he's going to play on the right-hand side. Bruno through the middle as well. And that that was pretty much it. I think... Oh, maybe I changed Beckenbauer. I think I brought on Luke Shaw. Yeah, so we brought on Luke Shaw. We switched Erwin to the right-hand side. Uh, and let's just fast-forward this. I don't know how long this guy was playing with himself. Uh, but anyway, chance for the corner. And let me know as well if you enjoy these type of videos. Uh, I've no problem doing them. It's more of a, a voice over because I sit down at night and that's when I'm playing it. So I went for the old near post here. Didn't work out. Luke short. Dennis Irwin, far too slow. Now, defensively, what do we do here? We've got to get players back. Do we go with Rodri? Do we go with short? Well, we're going to do that. Brilliant. Just once again, blocking. Block, block, block. Now, I did see some space in behind here, and this is why I nailed that for a long ball. But, uh, yeah, it started to lag, and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, is he pulling off some shady stuff? He very well might be. Um, and I wasn't too happy with that. With nine minutes left to spare, <sighs> players all over the place, but Bruno Fernandes does well, does find Angel Di Maria. Now, I was going to switch that, then I decided against it. Uh, and just, honestly, wasting a bit of time at this point in the game. he got seven minutes to play. It's a big match, this. Because the guy has a really good team. And this was my biggest challenge this night. Uh, and he was in Division 5. So, you know, he's not terrible. You know, and watch this. This is why you do this. Beautiful run by Kava. Manages to keep it alive, which is world class. Drills one in. Not the best delivery, though. And Paul Scholes picks it up. Once again, now it's about defending. Get players behind the ball. Watch the runner. He's forcing the pass. He's giving it away. Dennis Irwin finding Casemiro. So again, I didn't really need to play that. Should have played that into the feet. And this is where I'm not using Nisseroy, um, really, to his benefit. Look at this. Lovely play. Di Maria should have just laid it off. But I've got to find Nisseroy's feet and just give it to him so he can hold it up. That's the type of player he was. Of course, he was a goal poacher as well. He was, he was, I mean, Nisseroy scored, honestly, most of his goals in the 18-yard box. He was that type of a player. Uh, you know, he's like a Haaland-esque. Or I should say Haaland's more like Nisseroy because Haaland is born later. Uh, but yeah, one minute to play and the referee blows for full time. And, and I don't know how we managed to hold on. Uh, but have a look at the shot count and I will say take note of the shots on target. I don't care how many attempts you have, right? It's all about how many shots on target. And when you look at it, I had three shots, three on target. He had 12 shots, three on target. So, oh, that way. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, he had more possession. You know, my passing wasn't great. 
He had seven crosses. So, yeah, we got fortunate at times. We really did because he hit the post. But sometimes you need the luck of draw, luck of the draw. And honestly, after the game I had before this, uh, it was nice that it went my way. And the goal was a bit fortunate, but there we have it. But that's how I play on Fuma. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, and we'll be right back with some more action. So we should be back with FIFA career mode tomorrow or the next day. But then we are plowing through it, folks. Okay? Sounds good. And yeah, those were my results. I won 1-0. These are all on manual. I lost 2-0. Uh, and then I did win 1-0. And we're in what? Oh, Division 7. So, yeah. Not even Division 6. Anyway, let me know if your thoughts about these videos. If you enjoy them, we'll put more out. And uh, we'll be back very, very shortly. But until next time. Subscribe for more and take care.